New Social Security increase officially announced tomorrow. Tomorrow is the biggest day of the year for all retirees. It is going to decide the fate of how much money each retiree on Social Security is going to get for the rest of 2025. So I'll let you know all about the increase coming officially announced tomorrow from the SSA. Also, we'll go over this article. The three biggest ways Kamala Harris and Trump's Social Security plans could affect retirees if either one of them gets elected for president. I'll give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate these social security updates, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates. So let's get into it right here. 2025 social security COLA increase will be announced tomorrow. Here are some of the headlines here. Uh, also another one, social security change coming this month. Here's who's impacted. Last one here, why tomorrow is the biggest day of the year for Social Security retirees. We've been waiting months and months for this day of what the official COLA is because it is going to determine how much money you're going to get per month for the year of 2025. These effects won't take into account until your January payments. So uh, when it comes to the Social Security COLA today, uh, we're going to see a, an announcement coming on the economy, and then tomorrow is the official uh, announcement for the COLA. So let's go over what we're seeing here. So the CPIW, which is what it goes off of uh, for urban wage earners, is uh, increased to 2.87% in July and 2.35% in August year over year, averaging out 2.61%. And most economists, as well as the Federal Reserve, expect inflation to continue to slow. If you look at monthly changes, the CPIW has slowed dramatically this year, although not always in linear fashion. This means the COLA in 2025 is likely to be one of the smallest in four years. So how much are you going to get from this? Well, uh, according to the SSA, the average monthly benefit for retirees in August came in at $1,920 or approximately $23,046 annually. Uh, the senior, uh, the nonpartisan Senior Citizens League on September 11th estimated the COLA will be at 2.5%. If we use that number, the average benefit would increase to $1,968 or $23,622 annually. So you can see a little bit of a difference there, not much. Uh, so that's the type of increase. We're not seeing any 8%. Probably not going to see that for a while unless something really bad happens with the economy. But looks like it could be uh, 2.5%. And according to these numbers, an extra uh, $48 more per month, or according to this, an extra around $600 more per year. Uh, so that's what we're looking at when it comes to the COLA. Let's get into this article right here. The three biggest ways Harris and Trump's social security plans could affect retirees. Uh, what are their plans? How will it affect your social security check, which is most important? Which presidential candidate has the best social security plan. Let's get into this article right here. So millions of Americans head to the polls on November 5th. Uh, the presidential candidates from two major parties, Kamala Harris for the Democrats and former President Trump for the Republicans. We all know that. All right, so let's go over number one, Trump, no taxes on social security benefits. On July 31st, 2024, Trump posted in all caps on Truth Social saying seniors should not pay tax on Social Security. Since then, he repeated the statement in campaign rallies saying, and they won't. So not every retiree would be impacted if Trump returned to the White House and could make good on his pledge. Around 40% of people who receive Social Security pay federal income taxes on their benefits, according to the SSA. So would Trump's plan help you? Well, it depends on how you file your federal income taxes and your combined income. Uh, some retirees pay federal taxes on up to 50% of their benefits, while others making money making more money, must pay up to 85% on their taxes. So the idea of social of exempting Social Security from federal taxes isn't a new one. 
so that's the plan from Trump. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number two, from Harris, different COLA calculation method. So Harris has committed to protect and expand social security, but hasn't provided detailed plans on the program yet. However, as a U.S. Senator, she co-sponsored the Social Security Expansion Act. So that's what this is going from. And the COLA would be changed. So under the Social Security Expansion Act, the COLA, you saw what it was for the CPIW. It would change to the CPIE, which would result in a higher increase of COLA, which would result in a higher monthly Social Security check. So that's what this is going off of. Uh, if the COLA changed from CPIW to CPIE. And then for number three, for Harris and Trump, the effect when Social Security runs out of money. So there's one common denominator between Harris and Trump's ideas about Social Security. Both would affect when the program runs out of money. The combined Social Security Trust Fund Reserve will be depleted in 2035 if nothing is done based on the 2024 Social Security Trustee Report. Currently, federal income taxes on Social Security benefits would uh, pro provide around 4% of the program's financing. The 1984 change to tax benefits was made as part of several major reforms intended to prevent Social Security trust funds from running out of money. So... Uh, yeah, so that's what it comes to when it comes to that. All right, last one here. The committee of the CFRB estimates that Trump's proposal to eliminate federal income taxes on Social Security benefits would speed up the insolvency date for Social Security by one year. The CFRB also concluded that the change would move up the insolvency date of the Medicare Hospital Insurance Trust Fund by six years to 2030. So I guess according to this, Trump's plan of no tax would actually increase the insolvency by one year. And I guess according to Harris, not doing anything about it uh, would keep the insolvency at the same time. So that's what it looks like between the two candidates. Who would you vote for, Harris or Trump? Who do you think has the better plan for Social Security, Harris or Trump? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hey guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you that something that you should really do. Like if you make a mistake, learn by experience and make mistakes. And I see you in the next video. Hi guys. Monster read ice bleed in. Don't say that. I guys I wish them bleed and see I wish. I wish I could. Bye. There is a new Social Security bill that is giving a $2,000 increase to Social Security recipients. Click this video right over here to find out more details. It actually is giving $2,900 more to recipients. Uh, so click that video now, learn more about the Social Security $2,000 increase, and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.